this week is a little bit of a stressful one but a busy one and a good one because what are we doing first we're moving we're moving tomorrow the packing has begun the big moving day is tomorrow everything needs to be packed by today and moved out by very early tomorrow morning and then what else am i doing oh i'm dyeing my hair back to my natural color so if you're wondering i wonder what she's gonna do to her appearance this week or what color she's gonna do her hair <laughs> i'm trying to go back to my natural color or as close as i can to it I, it might be like a longer process i don't know what she's gonna do to get it there but we'll see also it's Jessica's wedding so we have a lot of things before that rehearsals uh, lunches little party and then it's a big wedding day so yeah busy busy week I woke up and went to the gym for the last time ever I'm gonna use this place's gym um, because tomorrow we're leaving super early like 9 a.m. so there's I'm not gonna I'm gonna have stuff to pack and do before that even and I'll have to wake up probably at like 6 as it is now I need to pack everything up and if I can get that done in time then I'm gonna edit a video but I feel like that's a bit aggressive so maybe one third of a video because I want to get as much editing done as possible because I know I'm not gonna have much time pretty much after today so I'm gonna pack up this bathroom One cupboard done. Now this. I always find it interesting when I pack things or travel because I'm left with what I really, really need and my actual favorite stuff that I can't live without. So I thought I'd show you a couple new things that I'm using a lot right now. First up, this body lotion is the best. It feels and smells like a dream. It's from this brand called Nubian Heritage and it's their coconut and papaya body lotion. I can't put coconut oil anywhere near my face because I always break out but it's super nourishing on my body and I love it and they if you read about their company they seem like a lovely company so that one is good that's what I use on my body deodorant wise I love these two this one is like for lighter days it's a lighter one it's a natural deodorant and then this one from type A I use when I'm gonna be sweating more so when I'm working out one thing that is not clean that I can't stop myself from using is perfume but I try not to spray it directly on my body I put it more on my clothes but this is my scent still using and loving my humble toothbrush over here I have recently really got into true botanicals I've been using this one for, for a really long time, actually like half a year now, but I've been trying their other stuff and I've been loving it. Also Juice Beauty stuff. This is a really good serum for blemish clearing and eye cream. These have been my favorite and this is just my regular face cream from Dr. Barbara Sturm. So these are all the skincare products I use all the time right now, every day. I think we both didn't the bed is super comfy the room is amazing but we both didn't sleep because it's just a new place and she also is in a new place so she's like waking up all the time but it's 7 a.m time to get to it today i have a lot of wedding stuff i got a fitting for the final fitting for my dress if it fits i can take it and then bridesmaids lunch and then rehearsal jessica's not having a bachelorette um, all her family's here from like overseas and there just wasn't any time so we're thinking to get some like I don't know bachelorette stuff for the long lunch to make her wear it all right I'm all ready to go this is my outfit shirt and skirt is from Topshop and these boots are from Zara that is my alarm saying it's time for me to leave all right first up let's go get my bridesmaid dress Oh, 
collecting some things for lunch. Yeah. I feel I like balloons. Like yeah. I like the, this loved one is cute, isn't it? Yeah. You can ask but them to fill it up. Huge, isn't it? They don't have anything about a bride, eh? No. Um, bride. Oh, that's cute too. Okay, yeah, that. Doesn't look as a strippery. <laughs> but I want her to look strippery. <laughs> you have to do this at least once in your life. Actually, I shouldn't talk because I didn't do this. Uh, but Jessica, you have to. We need to get him one of these. Oh my god, this that is, is great, amazing. Isn't it? We're just turning. She's like, I don't want a bachelorette. We, we just <laughs> force it on him. These tacky shot glasses. Should we take shots before the rehearsal? <laughs> <laughs> I think she she would be down to do that. I think she would actually. Um, Can I introduce him? <laughs> I'm with Danielle, by the way. <laughs> I got my dress too. Got these confetti ones. And some hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Got everything. We're heading to rehearsal now. Bride, squad, bride, 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 squad, squad. Just kids oh. dressed. Yes. Bride says. to be. Bride. Team bride. Team, team bride. bride. Team bride. The others are in the other car. Rehearsal is on. Yes. yes. Countdown begins. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be married. So weird. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so and cut. Uh, okay. It is the best day of my life. <laughs> Best days of my life. Leading up to has been amazing. I sleep so much. <laughs> so no bride ever. Let me put on some lipstick. <laughs> I'm home. It is seven o'clock now. I should be. I have a lot of things I could be doing right now. I could be unpacking. I could be editing a video. I could be showering because I need to get this pink out of my hair right now. But instead, I'm in bed eating some co coconut sorbet and watching YouTube. You know when you have so many things to do, you just like can't do them. I don't know, like I feel like I haven't slept in a week, honestly. And I have so much to do, I just want to do nothing. Alright, I ended up getting up and making some pasta for dinner. And now I'm going to take off my makeup, wash my hair, and I might try and do a bit of work tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the hair salon and hopefully I'm gonna try and scrub this pink out as much as possible. So that hair transformation is what you're gonna see tomorrow. And yeah, I guess I'll just see you then. Not too much is gonna happen tonight. Okay, just made it to Central. I have a quick 10 minutes where I can go grab my favorite juice because this place is right across from my hair salon and I feel like today is going to be a long process of getting the pink out and then dyeing my hair back to natural color. <laughs> Sandy has a mess to deal with now. <laughs> Just patches of pink and some parts are rose gold and some parts are blonde and then dark roots or peachy color. Peach, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun day for you. <laughs> Good luck to all. I just got back home, it's 6 p.m. and I have the same hair, I didn't go darker. So I was at the salon for like five hours and it took a couple times to get the pink all out of my hair and by that point, she was like really busy with other people so we, I couldn't do like a full head of low lights and highlights and everything I wanted to do. And plus, my my hair probably just couldn't take it after the bleaching two rounds and toning and all that. So I just went, did my usual and did a trim up, put in some layers to just like make it a little lighter and bouncier. And then next time I go back, when my roots grow out a bit more again, I'm gonna do that. This time I won't dye my hair pink because that took a lot longer than I expected. I thought it was gonna wash out. It says it washes out in 
three times but I've washed my hair almost every day for two weeks now and it, it wasn't even close to coming out and yeah I can't have it for the wedding tomorrow so now I'm just preparing some stuff for tomorrow oh careful excuse me can I move for a second so I'm gonna have an early night tonight gonna prepare my bag prepare everything i got to go through Pinterest and figure out what kind of hairstyle I want to do tomorrow she just said we need to have updos but she doesn't care what we do with it and yeah I'm gonna be doing my own makeup so I'm blonde for another month white blonde for another month they say when you spend a lot of time together you start to become each other and take on each other's personality traits and some some couples even start to look like each other but we just noticed how true that is because I went and got Jessica and Kenneth a wedding card and Tom didn't know already got one so he went and got one today and it's literally so similar black white and gold and everything we choose in our house we have similar tastes so it was pretty easy to decorate actually good morning everybody today is Jessica's big wedding day and it is I was gonna say the crack of dawn but it's before that I woke up at 4 and I'm on the way to her hotel where everyone's getting ready I'm actually doing my own makeup but I want to arrive really early and do it together with them I'm so excited and I can't wait to start the process of getting ready because it's one of my favorite things of a wedding day my top three things are definitely getting ready with the girls seeing the groom's face when he sees his bride for the first time and the father's speech to his daughter I can't wait for those today. I live pretty far now, so that's why I'm up so, so early. It takes me like an, just over an hour minimum to get back to Hong Kong Island where everything's taking place, sometimes two with traffic. So I'm making my way now. It's gonna be a good day. The weather's really good. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> it's not raining, so that's good. Just because dad is eager to get in. I'm already, I don't know if you guys can see my hair. This is the dress. And everyone's just arriving to the room. We're gonna be setting up for the games. Hong Kong is just waking up. We're making the punishment drinks. Lemon juice, Tabasco, and wasabi. Oh my god. Oh, look at that color. The wigs match your outfit very well. <laughs> it's a full color Candy. Okay. Yeah. Premium candy. Premium candy. Where did you buy? They're offering Lovely. us candy first. It's, it's a limited. <laughs> 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 we spent home night making it, right, boys? Yeah. No. 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 The, only, the only flavor candy we want is money. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> candy. Hey, my Jessica ain't so shallow. <laughs> 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 yeah, but her bride made that. <laughs>
we just finished the games and the tea ceremony. It was so much fun. It was my first time being a part of that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Were you talking? <laughs> you doing a yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> So now we're heading to the church really soon. Oh, mine's a vlog. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's well. We just got back from the church. They're married. It's all going by so fast. Woo! So many things are done. Um, <laughs> so we just came back to the room. We're by ourselves now with a lot of food and we're gonna order some room service for lunch. And then I gotta go over my lines, which I got here. My script is an MC tonight. And we have, what time is it? Like, I think it is, it's 12.45. Oh, it's almost one o'clock, so we have like four hours break. And we have the most gorgeous view. This is the famous Victoria Harbor in Hong Kong. It divides Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. I wouldn't eat the yogurt. Maybe the muffins and cake. Now we can do a yoga. Yeah. He just, oh. Oh my god, in your dresses, I'm not sure. I was a yoga teacher. I haven't done yoga in so long. Oh, have you not? Do a quick flip. Flip. Actually. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, lift your hips. <laughs> oh my god. Do we have to take off our shoes? I took mine off. Probably. No. Oh. <laughs> You're planning to stand, like do yoga and heels? I don't know. Do yoga and heels. Oh. Okay. Uh, doing like so we do tree pose on the right first. So don't push against your knee. Push against don't push against your knee. Don't be up on the thigh or on your shin. Good morning guys. I'm feeling a little rough. My voice is going. <clears throat> I just came home last night. I think I got home after 1 a.m. and just left everything in a pile of mess. Um, oh my god, last night. Yesterday, all of yesterday, I it went by so fast and I had where is this light? Still trying to figure out my house. Um, I had the best time ever. It was such an amazing wedding. It was the first time I was a part of a Chinese wedding as a bridesmaid. So it was the first time I got to witness all of the traditions firsthand from playing the games in the morning. That was hilarious. The groomsmen come with the groom to pick up the bride. And the first part is they need to negotiate a price to get in the door and they sort of pay off the bridesmaid. So we went back and forth with negotiations, settled on a price. And to be honest, I was wondering like, how do you come up with a price? Like what if you ask an obscene amount? But actually beforehand, um, people sort of talk to the groom and get a feel out for what he's hoping for to land on so you don't ask for something that he's not comfortable with 
Um, and then they got in and they had to go through a series of games and if they lose the games they get a punishment and for that we made a drink um, waxing and nose uh, plucking a nose hair and then they had to read a poem and with that poem they had to when Kenneth would say a certain word they had to sing a song from a boy band this I know is true God must have spent a little more time on you God must have spent a little more time after that, he passed and he got his bride and when Jessica walked out, it was the most surreal moment ever. Um, oh, I just started bawling. I also really love the tea ceremony. I couldn't even understand what they were saying in Chinese, but you could just feel the emotion and Jessica's super close to her grandma. Their relationship is really amazing and when her she gave her grandma the tea and she started crying, I just started bawling because I know that connection. From there, we went to the church. It was beautiful. There was like violinists playing and then we had a little break. We had lunch. We did yoga. We started talking about conspiracy theories and stuff. My, I just went through like a roller coaster of emotions that day. Um, so I feel like so much has happened. And then the banquet started. I was the MC and the speeches were amazing. They definitely didn't disappoint. The fathers were so good. Um, Janice, Jessica's sister, was so funny and his best man, Adrian, I loved every single speech. The speeches are always my favorite. And uh, the food was so good. The food was really good. The decor was unreal, so beautiful. All the flowers and stuff. Um, Jessica's dresses, they were made by Pius. He was the one who actually altered our dresses too. He did an amazing job. And then the after party was just outside the ballroom. There was this big dessert buffet set up and also savory foods like chicken fingers, french fries, pizzas, that sort of thing. And drinks and there's a DJ. And yeah, overall it was just such an amazing day. Everything went so smoothly. She had a really amazing wedding planner. Uh, yeah. I literally, it, it couldn't have gone better. It was just amazing, amazing family. I'm gonna miss that group of bridesmaids. I had so much fun with them, just nonstop laughing and it's just everyone is, it was amazing. I'm just, I'm just sitting here this morning and all like going through all the photos and man, so good. I'm so lucky that I got to be a part of that. Today I want to shoot a lookbook and that's not happening. I've had like no sleep this week. So today I slept till eight at least and got like six hours sleep maybe. So that was good and I'm just, I don't know. I just don't feel good at the moment. I think I was like riding on high all week and now I'm like psh, crash it, crashing. So I'm gonna take it easy. I've been watching YouTube all morning. I watched Shane Dawson's video, which was like an hour and 45 minutes. It was a long one. And Charla's uh, fortune, -telling, fortune telling video. And I'm going to finally make some breakfast. It's 11 a.m. Maybe unpack a few boxes and just have a really chill day. I don't feel like I... F I couldn't film that much yesterday because my camera was locked away in my bag and my phone was always on the verge of dying. Um, but I filmed what I can and yeah, I was just... I had a lot of tasks to do and I also wanted to be a part of the moment. I'm loving waking up to this view all the time now. I do live far out from the city, a lot further than I lived before, but I don't mind it at all. Tom's out playing basketball this morning. He does it every weekend with one of his friends, either, yeah, usually Saturday, not Sunday. Sometimes they go to different parks wherever and just join people on the street. And sometimes they just play one-on-one, -on -one, but it's his Saturday routine. And this is usually when I get some time to myself where I'll edit or go to the gym or something, but I don't feel like going to the gym this morning. I feel like doing nothing. Actually, no, I will edit. So we're actually traveling tomorrow too. We're going to Japan. Chinese New Year is this week coming up. I forget which day it starts on, but pretty much the holidays are starting now and Hong Kong gets super quiet. I actually thought Tom's family from Paris was coming in, but they're not coming in until after Chinese New Year. So um, since he doesn't really have family here, we are gonna go to Japan instead of, cause like all, most of the shops closed down. It's a very family oriented time, like Christmas time in Canada. So it becomes very, very quiet. So we are going to go to Japan. We're gonna spend some time in Hakone, do some onsen and just chill.